Hello everybody and welcome to some more Kerbal Space Program and, well, the inside of an aircraft carrier hangar. So, uh, what's going on here? Well, uh, in the comment section of the uh, the first uh, fighter subscriber video, I hope the first of many, um, one of my subscribers, Samuel Fall, asked me, sorry if I'm butchering that, asked me, uh, do you do boats as well as aircraft? And I, well, I had to say, no, but it's an interesting idea. And this got us talking about sort of mods and what have you. And I, uh, well, it ties into an idea I, something I've always wanted to do was to do an occasional video looking at mods because I, I run a fairly lightly, lightly modded install and I really need to get into some of the mods because there's a lot out there, especially for the, the sort of the BD Armory extension stuff. So, uh, I thought I might, might do the occasional video looking at something new, something that I've discovered, just me mucking about with it. Maybe if you haven't come across it, maybe it'll be something new for you as well. But uh, today we're looking at a couple of mods, sort of more in the nautical arena. Um, the first one of which we're going to be looking at is Large Boat Parts by Spanner Monkey. Now, uh, I'm actually going to get this aircraft moving, because we don't want to be hanging around here all day. Yes, so this is large boat parts by Spanner Monkey. Sort of does what it says on the tat, does what it says on the tin. Sorry, it's a collection of boat bits that you just sort of bolt together, and yeah, there, they, there you have it. Um, I remember a couple of years ago when I was last looking into it, the the um, the, uh, the the thing everybody was going for at the time was uh, World War Two warships, but that's uh, that's kind of been discontinued. It's it's not been discontinued. It's just it's just been just not been updated in about two years. Um, but uh, yeah, there's a whole load of boat uh, boat mods out there now, but this seems to be the sort of go-to one that most people uh, most people are using. Um, and it's as I said, it's a fairly simple one. Um, just get turned around here, trying not to go into the ocean. Perfect. Um, I'm not, I'm, I've sort of gone into sort of uh, cinematic mode, I've turned off the UI because uh, this is all one large bit, so if I had the uh, UI on then part highlight means you'd uh, you'd get that and that's that's not that easy on the eye. So I've set, it, set everything up so I can use hotkeys, so if we switch to the boat here a second, there's my plane, so if I just hit that there we go, lovely. Uh, Spanner Monkey has said that he's uh, going to, um, he's he's not going to be really updating this mod anymore. He's going to be working on a successor to it. Um, get back to my aircraft um, because there's a couple of things that are a bit buggy and um, well, just aren't up to standard. So he's going to sort of work on a sort of a a second incarnation of this. And one of the things that's going to go is this sort of aircraft, uh, these aircraft carrier parts, because. Uh, they're a little bit glitchy, and there are there are other aircraft carrier mods out there. So uh, yeah, but uh, it's still a fun little mod to play around with. Um, so we're just gonna taxi down to the end of this, get ourselves turned round, and hopefully take off. Yeah, when I say a little glitchy, the pieces don't quite go together. Um, I've had to do some fine adjustments to uh, to the positioning of sort of this uh, this uh, central hangar section and this end piece, and I try to do it at the end there but there's still a, a little little break there which is causing crashes so I'm gonna try and take off as quickly as possible here but uh, yeah as I said still a, still a decent little decent little mod again try not to go into the ocean get ourselves turned round and lined up so we're gonna be doing a couple of other things um, Looking at some other some other craft you can put together. Naval um, naval artillery systems is the other model we'll be looking at today. Um, but uh, well, we'll we'll uh, cross that bridge when we get to it. Let's get ourselves turned round. Make sure we are lined up properly. That looks good. Everything looking good. Turn back. Beautiful. So I suppose the next thing to do is see if I can land the damn thing. So uh, I will see you again in a second. So here we go. Let's just... Uh, I've got myself uncharacteristically lined up there. I'm going to put flaps on. I'm not sure if you've gathered this from watching my videos, but landing isn't my strong point. Um, coming off a little bit much to one side. Yeah, we are going to get toward... We're going to get to blowing things up shortly, don't you worry. Um... 
and one of the main reasons I'm doing this uh, this little this video is because Samuel sent me a a well a ship of his own a battleship and it is a beast so I want to uh, certainly want to do something with that before this video is out just a little more engines gonna need to come in fairly quickly because of that little bug I mentioned and that will do okay lovely job so what's next so what's next is a submarine this is uh, another collection of parts that just uh, bolt together nicely uh, I haven't quite got all the parts I don't think I think there's some special bits you can stick on the back that make it look more like a proper submarine but uh, well it, it's it's good enough to do what I want to do uh, let's uh, so let's get about doing that let's uh, select the cruise missiles the missile bay doors open I think that's a nice little touch uh, we just select our target make sure our trigger is armed you are definitely going for that and then we fire off our volley And once those are all away, the uh, the missile the missile doors close again, which I think is also a nice touch. I'm trying to see those missiles. I can't do it. Let's switch to the little medium tank, which is here, observing a a nice and above all intact KSC. Um, this is something I wanted to do for quite a while now, but I've never actually put together the necessary things to do it. Or uh, I could have done this from the island with just a, like a ground unit or anything, but it just it's something so satisfying about doing it this way. That's one down. Ah. Well, two out of three isn't bad, and uh, now it's three out of three. Anyway, moving on. So we've had a look at submarines, we've had a look at aircraft carriers. Uh, incidentally, I think the submarine's another model that uh, Spanner Monkey has got. Uh, earmarked for retirement from the mod but uh, it's a fun little fun little craft nonetheless but this is where the uh, this is the these are the vehicles that are sticking around this is where the strength of the mod really lies and that is in just simple warships kind of taking over from world war ii warships as i mentioned earlier on although it has uh, you can do a lot of modern stuff with it um as well um now this brings us on to the second mod we're looking at today and that is naval artillery systems by kerwis who are uh, a group of Chinese fans of the uh, game, as I understand it, who've uh, developed this mod. It's just basically sort of like a World War II weaponry mod, and uh, the models are very, uh, very detailed. They work well. Um, so I thought we'd, uh, I just throw myself together a simple battleship here, and uh, I put another one about five kilometres away over there. So we're going to see how they get on in a fight. So let's bring up the, uh, bring up the UI again. BD Armory. Oop, it was already open. Um, we want you to be on different teams, and we want to put the guard mode on. And here we're going to switch to post commentary, because this took a while. I mean, just look how slowly those guns are turning. I mean, I know it's realistic and everything, but uh, eventually we do get our first volley away, and then we uh, we switch to our second battleship to see that it uh, it's not really doing anything. I do decide to fire up its engines and uh, get it turning a bit to see if that, uh, that will coax it into life, but... Uh, nothing doing but then a volley comes in from our first battleship and uh, strikes one of its funnels and then it decides it's gonna fight back but only with its secondary battery which is uh, which is a bit odd I do try to force it to use its main batteries but it can't be persuaded so I decide you know what I'm gonna turn it head on present the smallest target possible and then just charge in and hopefully see if those secondary batteries can actually do some damage um, for a while, it's just a continual back and forth. No one really doing any damage. The uh, volleys get a bit closer, but mm, nobody really looks like they're ever going to get one over on the other on the uh, the other ship. And this just carries on back and forth and back and forth. I think it took about 15 minutes in the end. Uh, yeah, these are <laughs> these are not quick. Um, anyway, just as we uh, just as we think that nothing's going to happen, just as we got this craft facing straight on, a volley comes in, and yeah, and then just as we're uh, just as we're looking at the wreckage, hmm. 
anyway, as I was saying earlier, someone has sent us in a battleship, so uh, let's go and take a look at that. So this is what got the whole ball rolling in the first place. This is the Antarctica by uh, Samuel Fall. Thank you, thank you very much for this, Samuel. Um, yeah, it is a beast, and it is horrendously over the top. Um, kind of the reason this isn't this isn't just a straight up fighter subscriber episode is because uh, those I like to sort of make them kind of fair each way, but this is this is just 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 a, a glorious exercise in completely over the topness. It's 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 a beautiful beautiful thing. Um, yeah. Anyway, the last fight we had was uh, somewhat one sided. So, uh, yeah, let's see what happens. I'm going to switch my battleship. Let's just see what happens when we put this out to, up to fight. So once again we switch to post commentary because once again this took a while. Uh, now the Antarctica doesn't seem to want to open up with its main batteries, it just seems to want to go for these uh, secondary or tertiary batter batteries on the side of the ship there, and my battleship doesn't want to fire at all, so uh, I decided to do the same thing again, uh, throttle up the engines, get it turned around, get it charging in head first towards the Antarctica, hoping a lucky shot will see me victorious. Uh, things just proceed like this for a while, just pot shots coming in from either side, smaller guns, not really threatening to do any damage, and uh, it's at this point I decide to take matters into my own hands. I manually switch to the uh, to the Antarctica's main guns, its biggest guns there, and just as I'm aiming, a lucky shot comes in and my computer freezes for absolutely ages, but uh, you don't see that thanks to the magic of editing. But uh, no serious harm done uh, in the end, and uh, I manage to get a shot lined up, and we let go with a barrage from the Antarctica's main guns. The damage isn't fatal, and... Uh, it seems to coax the uh, coax the main battery of the uh, my battleship into life, but uh, it's too little, too late, as I managed to get another salvo off, and uh, well, there really was no coming back from this one. Just for fun, I uh, I fire off another volley from the Antarctica, but my battleship has disappeared off a of vessel switcher by this point, so. Uh, I don't manage to switch back to it quickly enough, so we don't see uh, don't see the explosions. But well, this is what's left of it. Uh, so quite a convincing victory for the Antarctica there. But uh, we're not finished with it just yet. There's one more thing we've got to do. So when Samuel sent me his battleship, he did so with a with a bit of a suggestion. He said, uh, "Why don't you get a squadron of York aircraft up against my battleship?" So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to take my trusty Wyvern fighter, and uh, it's going to be accompanied by two of my ground attack configured uh, club tails. So we're going to get these into the air, and uh, let's see what slaughter ensues. So we should be coming into range of uh, the uh, warship's guns, the battleship's gu guns at any moment, I should say, um, and my computer is just about to melt. I think it's actually already firing at us, so I am going to just gently... I'm not going to fire at my engines too much because I am in no rush to get close to that thing. Uh, now we're in... Ten oh, that's not what I meant to do. I meant to release my wingmen and they are going to go and engage, and I am going to stay well back and just chuck missiles in from a distance. Because I'm not that stupid. I'm just going to throw everything I have at this damn thing. Do I have any more Mavericks? I've got a couple more. Now, I think that's flak fire coming in, is that? Yeah, let's, let's start... Um, Let's not start moving closer to it. My two, the two club tails there, just avoiding some artillery barrages. I'm not sure those are ever going to do much. Yeah, I am just going to stay a safe distance away and try not to die. How are my club tails doing? We'll follow in these guys in. We'll see what these guys are up to. Um, uh, they've got they've got their harm missiles activated. I'm not sure the ship is actually firing any any it's actually got its radar active by the looks of things but uh, what are these club tails going to do do I have were those that gunfire for me I don't think it's going to hit oh they're pulling out
How's things looking from the battleship's point of view? Yeah, it's got its secondary batteries sort of on my case. I don't know what happened to those missiles. Where are my missiles? Ah. Well, that's irritating. Let's uh, let's try and launch some Mavericks. Sorry, I'm seeing some Hellfires at it and see what uh, that does. I'm not sure if my uh, Mavericks just didn't have the range. <laughs> let's try and get a bit closer. Oh, God. And uh, see what we can do with some Hellfires. The, uh, yeah, the physics range extender flickering is getting pretty bad. Hmm. And my club tails seem to be doing absolutely sod all. Which is just what you want when you're up against this beast of a ship. One, two, three, four. I think the missiles must have been destroyed by flat. Oh! Oh, it's the... Yeah, it's the, it's the anti-air lasers that got the... Uh, that got my club tech, that got my, uh, that got the missiles, and now... Okay. That is just, that is just silly. That is just absolutely silly. <laughs> and almost, and just beautiful in its own way. So as, uh, as pieces of my craft rain down, I think it's only fair to say, well done, Samuel, that is one hell of a ship. Um, yeah, I think we're going to have to introduce a moratorium on this channel on anything that overpowered. I'm kind of glad we did it, but uh, yeah, thank you once again to Samuel for that ship. Um, and yes, large boat parts and naval art artillery systems. If you want to, um, if you want to bring a bit of naval warfare to your BD Armory stuff, then uh, yeah, well worth a look. But uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Take care. And I'll see you next time.